The upcoming welterweight prospect Ian Gary is brimming with confidence for his upcoming fight against Vicente Luque. In a recent interview, Gary stated that he's much better than other fighters and he can beat Luque in any way he wants. Here is what he said. I'm unbelievable. I've been telling you this since I was a teenager. I am unbelievable. The way my brain works, and the way I look at fights, and the way I calculate stuff is just different to people on the planet. I have a different wavelength, a different understanding of the way fighting works. And I can go in there and manipulate and manhandle people in any way, shape, or form that I want to because I'm that much better than them. This fight with Luke, the fight with Magni, the fight with Dirod, it's all the same stuff, just repeated in different ways. I will find a way to have success, and I will win every single time because I am that much better than everyone. So, everyone should be excited. Gary and Luke are set to face off on December 16th, and the outcome will reveal whether Gary can back up his words and finish Luke, or if the experienced veteran will be too much for him to handle. Robert Whitaker expressed concerns regarding Volkanovski's upcoming fight, and whether he can bounce back after his recent loss to Makachev. Volkanovski suffered a brutal knockout against Makachev and already has a scheduled bout against Ilya Tapuria on February 17. Accepting this fight on such short time raises concerns about Volkanovski's recovery and his performance in the upcoming match. Here is what Whitaker said about the situation. It's tricky because you don't know, the way he lost that last fight, whether it will affect him in any way. Before that last loss against Makachev, Volk was unstoppable and everyone would have said so. No one would have second-guessed him, no one would have second-guessed his reign and then, to a degree, I still don't. I still think that in his division, he's been a monster. There hasn't really been anyone that's come close and yeah, having a loss like that the way it happened with Makachev, I don't know. He also opened up after the fight so there's things there. You don't know, headspace is such a big part of the fight world and the fight game. As Volkanovski gears up to fight Ilya Tapuria soon, Whitaker's concerns have sparked talks in the MMA world. People are wondering if the champ can bounce back after his recent loss and keeps making history. Bobby Green still puts Alexander Volkanovsky ahead of Islam Makachev on his pound-for-pound -pound list. Even though Makachev beat Volkanovsky twice and scored an impressive knockout win in their last fight, Green doesn't think Makachev did enough to be ranked higher than Volkanovsky. Here is what he said. No, I think that's John Jones. John Jones has put his body of work in. Nobody can do what that guy's done. Until Islam is starting to fight in other divisions and show that he's taking on a different caliber like that, then he can be the pound for pound. I could give him number two, but even then I still would say Volk would be number two and then he'd be number three. I still put Volk at number two. That guy has beaten everybody, fighting everybody, signing up. Islam's fighting once a blue moon. Volk is so active, that's a true pound for pound. So I would say John Jones, Volk, maybe then Islam. Bobby Green's rankings sparked a lot of fan reactions especially regarding his decision to place Volkanovsky above Makachev, despite Makachev's 2-0 record against him. Feel free to share your thoughts below on whether you agree or disagree with Green's rankings. Yen Blakovich has made his prediction for Alex Pereira vs Jamal Hill, favoring Alex Pereira to win. Following Pereira's recent lightweight title win, there has been speculation about who might challenge and potentially dethrone him. Among the contenders is Jamal Hill, the former champion. However, according to Blakovich, he doesn't believe Hill has what it takes to defeat Pereira. Here is what he said. We'll see how he's going to feel after the injury because sometimes it's hard coming back in great shape. You still got something in the back of your head that you have surgery and you're coming back. You don't know how your leg is going to feel. So I don't know. In this moment, I would put my money on Pereira. If Pereira will fight against Jamal Hill and he's going to win, and I believe that I'm going to win against Rakic, so this rematch, they have to give it to me because our fight was split decision, 
and I believe the referee gave a bad decision. So, they have to give me this rematch. I can be backup fighter, no problem. You just sit over there waiting, watch the fight, and they give you some money. Thanks for watching. If you're a fan of MMA be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss an update. Also leave a comment below with your thoughts on today's news. Keep supporting the sport, and we'll see you in the next one.